I'm sick of Okay, so it is January 13th and we are going to our first PR event of the year, which is great because I'm manifesting more PR events, more PR in general. And today's plus one is my older sister. I'm really excited. And that's all I have to say for now. <laughs> Oh, 
淘汰啊。Welcome to the cleaning portion of my vlog, where I reset my apartment after our New Year's Eve party. It's become an annual tradition now for us to host a themed New Year's Eve party. This year's theme was disco night, and let's just say our second annual New Year's Eve countdown party was a blast for everyone. Shout out to everyone for respecting BYOB and to my friends and family who helped me out with the party food. You guys are the absolute best. The downside of the after party is cleaning. Dan helped me get the general gist of things done, but I still had some nitty gritty details that I wanted to take care of. Starting with our bar shelf, I have a habit of organizing this shelf by the type of alcohol and by brand name. It's a bit obsessive of me to do, but it makes me feel so much better to see an organized bar shelf. Next, I'm tackling the dishes. I've had a lot of meals by myself this past week and have just let the dishes accumulate. It's rough trying to stay on top of all of your chores and work, and sometimes I slip up. Pro tip, just do the dishes at the end of every day, even if you just use one plate, because that one plate will turn into two and then they'll just keep piling up. Adulting is hard, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't prioritize a clean environment for ourselves. Next, we have to fold all of the laundry. This really seems like I do everything around here, but this was just a really bad week for Daniel personally. And when one of us is at 10%, then that means the latter helps make up for the rest so that we feel more complete. I think operating this way and understanding each other's needs and helping each other out has helped us maintain our long-term relationship. For those curious, I run the laundry and Daniel usually folds but I decided to do this chore for him since he was dealing with some personal issues this week. I like to wash the throw blankets, especially after we have people stay over. It's a nice little way to freshen up the space. An Airbnb that I stayed at had their couch pillows fluffed and chopped down the middle like this, so now I do it each time I freshen up our couch area. Now I'm just wiping down the coffee table, which is also a Dan chore, but something so quick and easy for me to do while he's not feeling 100%. The apartment that we're currently staying at unfortunately doesn't have an in-unit washer dryer, but there's a laundry room on each floor. In an ideal world, I'd like to upgrade to a two-bedroom apartment with an in-unit washer dryer and tons of natural light, so I'll be putting that on my vision board for 2025. Take this as your sign to reset your space at the end of each month. Trust me, you'll feel much better operating in a cleaner and more organized living space. You guys are not going to like this, trust me. <laughs> I started doing gua sha at night and I think it helped benefit the blood circulation in like my face and my neck. Can you tell the jawline be snatched? That is a good frickin' sundubu, guys. You get a spoonful of rice, dip it in the soup. Mm. 
Mmm! Ginger ale with apple cider. Cheers. Focus. I hit 900 subscribers. I surpassed it. But one of my end of week goals was to hit 900 subscribers and I was able to do that, which is very exciting. Currently January 20th, it's a Saturday and I am staying my booty indoors and just working on my video. I'm actually working on this video that you guys are watching right now. I'm always just like sitting here at my laptop, mainly for work obviously and working on client stuff. In my free time, like on weekends or at night, I'm almost always editing my YouTube video. And one might seem to think like I'm overworking myself, but YouTube and video editing has always just been a passion of mine and my hobby, like even when I was a little kid. To me, it doesn't feel like work. It's something I genuinely love to do. And also these are blue light glasses. I have contacts in right now, but sometimes when I'm staring at my computer or phone too long, my eyes strain a lot. So blue light glasses. I don't know if you could tell by the state of my hair or maybe by the state of my room. But I just shot two hours worth of content. Anyone who says content creation is easy, it realistically is, okay, compared to like other jobs in the world. I love content creation though. You can't knock an artist for being an artist, you know what I'm saying? This is a mess. My room is a mess right now. And this was just for a reels. I shot three reels and that's what this mess entailed. Alrighty, time to clean up. Hello everyone. So at the end of each vlog, I've decided that I wanted to do a little recap session just as a moment to really reflect on how the month has been. And that way, whenever I watch my old vlogs again, I could really see where I was at at that point in my life and also how I was feeling. So for this month, R will stand for reading because I finally got back into reading. I've always loved reading growing up, but I was stuck for like the past two to three years on this series that was not the best written series. If you want to see what series I'm talking about or are curious about my book reviews, be sure to friend me on Goodreads. Now that I'm done this series, I can finally move on and read all of the other books that have been piling up on my bookshelf. I really wanted to stray away from a series and just read a standalone, so I read Chalice of the Gods. It's a little short story to add to the Percy Jackson series, and if you know me, you know how much I am such a die-hard fan of the Percy Jackson series. I literally finished this in three days and I loved it. Five stars, really good. Then this book is another standalone book. I rated this a two out of five stars. If I had to give it a silent review, it would be like this. This book is Building a Story Brand by Donald Miller. I'm actually taking notes as I read on these little post-it notes. I don't like marking up books. There's something about it that just feels wrong. So I'm actually, as I'm reading this, taking notes on how to build my own brand. And it's really inspiring me for future purposes. So highly recommend so far, but I'm not finished. So I'll let you know how that goes. Those were the three books that I read in January. The E in recap stands for eating slash meal prep because I've gotten into meal prep this year. This year, the year just started. I was never one for meal prepping. I never understood it because I don't like eating the same thing consistently. Like I like to switch it up a bit. But recently I've fallen in love with a kale chicken salad. 
If you guys have watched my 12 week year template video, you would know that one of my physical health goals is to lose weight and get back in shape. So I had to find a dish that I really enjoyed eating. And for me, that was kale chicken salad. Time consuming wise, it takes a lot to meal prep, but then for the rest of the week, you're set. And I really like that about meal prepping is that especially when Dan is working and I'm just by myself eating by myself, I like the convenience of just being able to reach in my fridge, grab a Tupperware, pour a little dressing on and just eat instead of needing to cook a whole entire meal. So meal prepping has been a new thing for me and I really enjoy it. So for C, we have composition, which is something that I started diving into middle of this month, something that I really want to hone in on and practice. So if we're talking about self-development in terms of videography, I never realized how important composition was for some reason. I think it plays into just being more intentional with the shots that you get. So I'm definitely going to start messing around with that come February in my newer videos, especially with my vlog. So composition, a new skill set that I would like to acquire. A stands for ambition this month because I am really, really going full force into YouTube. My goal was to come out with three videos this month and to continue three videos per month. We're on track. If I'm being honest, I was not expecting my 12 week year template video to get as many views as it did. Like usually when I upload a video, I'm like, the same 200 people will view it and I'll be happy, woo. But it started building up traction and you guys have left some of the sweetest comments on that video. And I don't know, I just feel really happy and I feel really good about where I'm going with my YouTube channel this year. Ambition. And we're gonna keep the ambition going, guys. So for P, I really struggled with trying to find a word that represented P for me for the month of January. But the more I sat and reflected, the more I settled on the word people. People as in community, as in the people that I surround myself with going into 2024. This is just a moment for me to practice gratitude for the people that I have in my life and the people that will continue to be in my life throughout this year. And I'm just really grateful for the people that have found my YouTube channel and are joining me on this journey of growing my YouTube channel. Thank you guys if you're watching for the first time. But in all honesty, I feel really good about where we're going guys and i hope you feel good too and i hope that my videos can somehow inspire you to you know just live the life that you've always wanted here's to the end of january and i'm very much looking forward to seeing you all in february thank you for watching my video and i will see you guys in the next one